hello 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 everybody i welcome you all my new subscribers old subscribers everybody to my channel thank you so much for clicking and for watching for comments and everything that is coming in okay so the sun is really up here today um and so i don't know how good this video is gonna be but i pray that you will see my face even through the sun yes i just closed from night shift from work now all the old subscribers you all know i work in the skilled nursing home yes so i just closed i had i have exams today to write and um I have two more classes to go to complete my BSN. All my nursing students gather here. So today I just want to talk about, I, I want to touch on something a sensitive, um, but I still want to touch it. And I'm speaking out of love to all my healthcare workers. I speak out of love. So on this channel, I talk everything and clicks nursing cna um motherhood you know investment entrepreneurship <laughs> everything everything we, we talk about here so last week or a few days back um at my other job so i was uh, i clocked out and i was about to go home and then i saw one cna sitting outside uh she was smoking so i said beautiful you know that smoking is not good for you you are too pretty to be smoking and then she said oh nurse roslyn you know you you got to smoke something in order to work uh in this place and it struck a chord in me you know her statement struck a chord within me. So I'm going to pose this question to everybody here. Do you have to smoke before you can work in the skilled nursing home? Are you a smoker? Oh, I'm talking to everybody on this platform. Uh, to subscribe to this channel. Are you a smoker? Are you smoking because the job is very frustrating? You are very stressed at um at the workplace. Is that why you are smoking? Now maybe you will say, Roslyn, this is none of your business. I mean, smoking is nothing. I mean, it's a habit. I know it's a habit. But we work in the healthcare sector. And if you've worked for a long time, you know the end results. You know the end results. You've seen people that smoked almost their entire life. And how they've ended up with upper, both upper and lower respiratory diseases and sicknesses. You know that. So if you have seen the end of others, my question to you is that, why is it not serving as a, as a warning to you? And again, I speak out of love. I love you. That's why I'm talking this way. Okay. Whatever we, whatever happened, it took years, days, months, weeks, and years to develop. You can intentionally, you can intentionally work on it days weeks months and years to quit that habit it is possible it is doable if you strongly believe that that workplace is so stressful and that's why you must smoke in order to so time will fly by so you can get by you know then you have to quit and go to non-stressful environment because regardless of how stressed the place um i have worked in different different uh, nursing homes skilled nursing place i've done travel nursing 
And I can tell you that the level of stress, every place that you go is full of stress. But the level of stress in some uh, nursing homes is, uh, is, is in, uh, in, there's a degree, a measure. Yes. Because some are like a PhD. <laughs> PhD. The level of stress is like a PhD level. And some are in the associate level. So find you a place where you are not too stressed. That you can work and you don't have to smoke to get by. For time to get by. For your health's sake. And I'm talking about the long term effect. The long term effect that this is going to have on your lungs. Your lungs. The upper and the lower respiratory. This all this. I remember in Tennessee, one lady, there was no single night that I worked there that she could sleep. And every day, every night that I worked there, she would tell me, she would advise me, my daughter, don't smoke. I want to advise you, don't smoke. I wish I knew better from my young age. I've smoked all my life and now I cannot breathe. I cannot sleep. And she could eat every single night that I was there. Is this the life you you? Is that how you want to end up? I speak out of love once again. I love you guys, all my nurses, all my CNS. Whatever your title is, you can be a doctor, you can be anything in the healthcare, please. And even if you are not working in the healthcare and you, you stumble upon this video, I beseech you with the mercies of God. Love your body so much so that you intentionally make it a, a point to stop smoking it will help you in the long 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 run all right so i'm going to take my exams and however way it goes next week we're going to talk about it and within next week too i will try my best to uh, make a time make one of those days to uh, make videos on uh, some schools um for lpn to rn program that's the, the the priority on my list but because of exams and a little bit of stress here and there um the second job you know everything that i spoke about last time yeah it, it's taking toll on my time that i used to make videos but i will i promise you i've given my word and i will i will make sure i fulfill my word all right, I love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Please share. Let's share it to all the headcasts um, personnel that you know. Let's help them quit. Okay? We love you guys. Bye.